All right, so real quick, man. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the last Chop It Up talk that was uploaded with me featuring my brother Asa Yahoo, my brother Yasarel, very dear brothers to me, like I said in the video. A um, few people hit me up telling me that it was very helpful for them. So that's very through to hear. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do a few little chopping it up, just chop it up with you a little bit about different things that I think about. Um, so you can know the mind of the person that you're listening to, you know what I'm saying, per se. And understand my perspective, my dynamic, why I go the direction that I go and I make music, why I think the way I think, being young, being a young man at that black young man um, in this place, in America, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, embracing this Hebrew culture, just how my mind has translated to where I'm at now. So with that being said, before I even get started and going into the topics that I wanted to talk about today, I wanted to read something to you real quick. Let me just turn around real quick. All right, Genesis 6, 5, check this out. It says, and Elua saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, man. That's That, to me, is one of the big things that we got to understand, man, as, as young men, as young women as well, as, as Hebrews, you know what I'm saying, understanding who we are, that you can't make something that's wicked not be wicked. You can't make something that's evil not evil just because you don't want it to be or just because you don't want to ex it to accept that it is and um i'm just sort of looking at it from the dynamic of like the scriptures say never trust your enemy you know what i'm saying um because he's like it's like you can't say that this ain't a particular metal just because the metal rust in it they don't look the same if you get that rust off you realize it's that same piece of metal um it's actually a, it's actually a, a parable in Sirach that actually talks about that when it comes down to the enemy but man i was just thinking have y'all ever watched the movie first purge it's crazy man i was just thinking about um when i went to go see that movie and how it just spoke to me so much I'm speak to that and then i'm gonna sort of move it into reality um that movie man spoke a lot to me just because when you really look at it you know the ideal of it is based off of them doing an experiment and this experiment was was executed by way of giving people an opportunity to release different frustrations that they had based off of psychological studies that they did on the community. In this community, they so happened to do these different test runs on and experiments on ha happened to be the black and Hispanic community per se. Um, but that being said, it just when you really look at the element of that and you just see how many people was actually against um the, or let's just put it like this let's not even say how many people let's just say the government the big boys you know what i'm saying how in that movie they was actually against the people that were of lower income lower class per se the minority group which the minority thing I ain't even finna get into all you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's interesting. That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? Scatter to the four corners of the earth, but we the minority. Like the stars of the heaven, but we the minority. Sand of the sea, but we the minority. Um, literally like um we gon we gonna exterminate them by way of having their daughters come up here and get abortions at our abortion clinics because they having too many children minority. I said think about that. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. But anyways, when we when we really get down to these things, man, you really look at it. That's really how it's been in our community for a long time. They put these things in these movies and it's approved. It's allowed because that's not the first time that, that a man has thought like that towards our people. No, that was for the sake of entertainment. That's literally how it has been for us as an experience here in America. And this is something that I cannot emphasize enough to young black men. 
you don't gotta walk around with a with a with an eye of seeing just everything just flat out just evil wicked and you gotta be crazy with it. But I do want you to understand that your history is very important. Something that I see a lot with young men who might not have people with close up on them who know a little bit about who they are, where they come from. A lot of times you're so influenced by the world that it's challenging for you to be able to embrace your culture because you feel like as long as you know who you are, yeah, that's cool and all, but it's a lot going on out there in the world. You don't really understand me. You don't feel where I come from. Man, listen, y'all. If I could encourage you with one thing, it would be, it's to listen, man. Listen, because y'all done heard me say it plenty of times. It's old news, but it's still through news to me. I came in this thing at 18. I wish it could have came earlier, but even when I hear a lot of brothers that might have got to where I was at at 19, 20, and they didn't get to that till like 30, I'm so grateful. And it's not disregard nobody growth. You who have got time for everybody. But what I need you to understand is if you in your teenage years, if you in your young 20s, if you in your mid 20s, if you in your 30s, if you you in your mid 30, you technically you still young. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, man, fully embrace who you are. Don't feel shame about upholding your culture. Know who you are. Be true to you. Because, because as we read Genesis 6, 5, where it says, Yahuwah looked upon the, 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 the hearts of men, and he's saying that the imaginations and the thoughts of their heart were evil continually, continually. And then we go into Ecclesiastes, right? And it says, there is nothing new under the sun. Young brother, understand it. The scripture is not telling you some outdated news, giving you the reoccurring paradigm that men are holding from generation to generation. Nothing that we get is new. I hear this from a very wise man that I submit myself to. Um, everything that you see that is, is expressed out there in the earth, shout out to Chief Moose. Everything that is expressed in the earth that you see people make uh, drawing, you see people make a movie about, you see people write books about, you hear people talk about they had to experience because there's nothing that you can pull from something that never existed right, all of these things come from something that was already created and then based off of what's created people go and invent things so none of these things, none of these things are new, it all has a root, it all traces back to something that was shown or seen so I'm not trying to get into preaching mode and neither am I trying to make this a Bible study, but more of just a talk, a one-on-one -on -one, or whoever listening to this, you know what I'm saying? But more like, you know, just a, from me to you type of deal. We're just chopping it up. We're going to chop this thing up. When you really look at, I look at a lot of these young brothers, they don't want to embrace the culture. You know what I'm saying? Even, even when, even if you are struggling, <clears throat> even if you are struggling, I don't know what just happened. My voice just got shaky. But even if you are struggling, um, with embracing your culture, something that's very important that I would like to emphasize is even understanding the dynamic of seeing who the world truly is and who you truly are. This world hates you, man. Understand that. Understand that. It ain't even so much just people because you will meet some Gentiles and they're not going to treat you like scum. You will meet some people that's your people and they will treat you like that. You'll meet people that love you, but it ain't even so much just about that. It's the system. It's understanding that this place is territory. It's territory of something greater than what you can see. And then you gotta think about it, man. You, I'm talking about these people taking little babies and feeding the little babies to an alligator, bro. They taking, um, Bro. They taking um, women away from their children and stripping them and taking them states away from their children with no remorse. You feel me? They taking men and and raping them and and breaking them down just to just to break down the psychology to make you feel weak, right? They taking and then look look then we get to the point where they start lynching us. You know what I'm saying? You talking about picnic, right? They come pick a nigga, picnic. You feel what I'm saying? All these different little stuff that we just sort of go on with life. Like 4th of July, we celebrating that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condemning nobody because they doing it because I used to do it. But what I am saying is this, like you celebrating the independence that came forth within this, this, this nation. 
But the truth of the matter is, black people, a lot of us, majority of us, was still in somebody's slave form, in somebody's slave yard. You feel what I'm saying? Eating slop. We eating chitlins and all that stuff as a delicacy. We eating shrimps and crabs and lobsters and catfish and all this stuff. Coon. You see what I'm saying? We look eating all these different things. And some of y'all might not have those things, but your grandparents take those things as sort of delicacies. You feel me? Those are delicacies to them. Why? Why do you think these things are delicacies? Because at one point, this is all they had, bro. You feel me? You smoking. Your mind away. Smoking. Your brain cells away. You intelligent. You think you can't achieve nothing. So you feel like the only thing you can achieve is walking in your pride because you got a lot of stuff built up inside of you. But that, the truth of the matter is that those things are not helping you. And so what I'm trying to get you to see is understand your value. Understand who you are. Understand you got a place. Understand what this world is. Understand who this world is. Go get you a trade. You see what I'm saying? Start looking to skills that can help develop you and build you as a young man. It's so many things that I know that, okay, I barack your hood because now he got me in a place where it's like I can be that voice and encourage young men to do things that I wasn't able to do. But if I was in your shoes, 15, 16, I would be thinking about things greater than just going to college and getting away from my parents because I don't want to have tourists put on me. I don't want to have instructions. I don't want to have nobody giving me order and telling me, no, understand this, that right now you're a child, but there's going to come a time where you leading, where you going to be in the front. And if you're not putting these things in you right now as a young man, it ain't gonna come a time where people ain't gonna wanna waste time on you. That's just how it works. That's just how the world go. And it be challenging because as young men sometimes we we gotta be strong all the time. Right? And and young men are supposed to be strong. It says that your glory is your strength and you are supposed to value that. Value that your glory is your strength and the strength of the young old man is his wisdom. I, I say that all the time. That's one of my core sayings that I took from the Proverbs. But understand that your strength, your, your strength is your glory. But there is a level of strength that they want us, a, 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 a ideal of having strength that it's not through for us, right? And what I mean by that is we think strength is my brother is out there. He going through some things. But this ain't the dynamic or paradigm that we thinking from. All we thinking from is he challenging me. But he challenging me. I ain't no sucker. I ain't soft. You ain't finna push me around. So I'm gonna make sure I give you that treatment that you trying to give me. Like that's the type of mindset that is fueled inside of us. It's fueled inside of us. We've got them dudes talking about now on these songs, they're talking about Glocks with switches on them. You see what I'm saying? Shooting automatic pistols at each other, man. I mean, man, like Bro, this stuff is crazy. You know, it's an honor now to talk about, man, I did some time. I did I laid I laid down for a little bit. Bro locked up in a cell. His 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 bed beside the toilet. You feel what I'm saying? He brushes his teeth. I mean he he's up in there, gotta use the restroom right beside another man. You know what I'm saying? It's people that go in there and come out a totally different person. A man come in there acting like a man, hard. Think he that dude going there with somebody that's been in there longer than him ain't been around no women for a long time and then things happen that to him that where he get violated as a man no these are the reality of things that our people are going through they sick in their head but you got to see the strategy that the big man up there i ain't talking about your hood i'm talking about the man the man that has been suppressing your people since we came over here on these slave ships understanding that he set a systemic setup to slow you down as a young man. A systemic system that, that's put in place to slow you down as a young man. I encourage you today to understand your value, understand your importance. If you got things like we talked about these lust and we talked about um, confidence, the pros and cons of picking up your culture, understand that look, it's gonna be times in your life where things gonna seem like it's hard it's going to seem like, man, I can't get through this. But understand this. There's a scripture that say it is better to enter into the house of sorrow than it is to enter into the house of joy. For by sorrow, the countenance is made strong. 
So it's going to be moments in your life where it's going to seem like things are going down. It's going to feel like things ain't going right. It's going to feel like things is getting hard. But this is how you will build you up. But you can't let a seed of bitterness sprout up where you start walking around mugging everybody. You tough. You Debo. You ready to ram. Like they say now, you ready to crash out. Bro, get your head right. Think right. Get your mind right. You worth it. It's worth it. And do it for your hood, man. Do it for your hood. With that being said, man, that's all I got. I've been up on here 15 minutes. I love y'all. Man, comment, like, share, subscribe. Please, um, it, it helps me a lot, you know what I'm saying, and what I'm trying to do, my vision and my goal for this page. I really wanted to reach the, the, the youth. I really wanted to reach the young men explicitly, reach my young sisters so they can understand they got value. So, um, you know, if you can, just leave me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I love y'all. Peace. Let me know what y'all think about this, and I'll keep doing them until my next project drops. Love y'all. Shalom.